welcome back. So now we're going to uh, continue these uh, the video uh, lessons along with the book, and we're going to introduce accidentals. We're going to take a look at sharps, um, and I will play uh, the chromatic scale, uh, which is written in your book. Uh, the the chromatic scale is one of the most basic uh, scales in the in the series. It's uh, consists of it consists of twelve notes. Uh, composed of su successive half steps, but it's a great, also a great exercise uh, to work on the chromatic, the chromatic scales, introducing uh, the sharps. Um, I will only play ascending because it will introduce the accidentals and sharps, and not flats. Um, that will be another video all on its own. So the chromatic scale. I would like to start with the the sixth string of the guitar. And now the right hand, I want us to play with the I and M. I don't want us to use the thumb. So it's going to be all alternating the I and M fingers. So I want it to get ready right on the sixth string. And then the left hand, I want to play uh, starting on the open E string and get in left hand position right over each string that we're playing. Still having this nice arch. Okay, so I will give us four and one, two, ready. Begin. A string. Make sure you alternate. I and M. Right hand. Third string. Second string. So be careful when you go from the third string to the second string that we have this extra B on the third string fourth fret. So the, when you play the chromatic scale, we usually go uh, starting on, with the third string. You have your open G, G sharp, A, A sharp, and then we will uh, transition down to the second string and play the open B instead of playing the the B on the third string fourth fret. So from there, I would like to segue right into the Minuet by Bach uh, from the notebook of Anna Madaldiana Bach. A uh, very famous uh, little melody in 3-4 time. And now we're going to uh, play with all of our, uh, excuse me, we're going to play with our I and M finger. So it's a melodic uh, melody. And this will be a great exercise for string crossing. So uh, let's go ahead and play starting on the high D. So we're going to uh, begin with, with your I and, and just alternate the I and M finger on the right hand. So nice and slowly, I will give us the, uh, the B. And um, in this melody, we do have the F sharp. So we have our first accidental. Um, we'll have play the sharp as written where the where it is in the melody. So here we go. One, two, three. see I was playing with the open string on the open B. What I would like to do is do the same uh, minuet. I would like instead of playing every B that we have in the melody, instead of playing with the open B, I like to use the, the closed position B, third string, fourth fret, and use with our fourth finger. So um, the reason that we can uh, go back and forth is that the, the both Bs have different color. This is going to be an open string. Sometimes you open the B can sound a little nasally as we play with the B on the third string fourth fret. 
-hmm. It's a lot, the timbre is a lot warmer and darker, so, and then it also has a nice, uh, if we're playing a melodic line, we can go from A to B, and the connection is a lot more, uh, like a like a violin will play a single line instead of uh, crossing, which a lot of guitar players do. We cross strings, but the timbres are very different. So we want to keep that timbre nice. Okay, so let's play the minuet again, and this time let's in, let's include the B on the third string, fourth fret. So I will give us three, one, two, begin. to present in the book is Brother John. Um, it's, a traditional, it's a traditional French folk song and it is in a duet form. Again, uh, playing duets is very important to keep timing and uh, to play uh, with someone else to make sure your, your melody part and goes with the accompaniment. So uh, this is a round or also called a canon so we will echo each other um, uh, in different octaves. So I will uh, give us four free counts. You will begin the melody. You will play your bass notes. Again, uh, the bass line, you do have some accidentals. You have a C sharp in your first measure. And uh, you can begin that with your right hand playing with a thumb. So your first measure will be A. C, A, and then I will continue to echo your same uh, line. So just be careful, we have the F sharps and we uh, have included the C sharp as well. Okay, so I'll give us four counts and you will begin after my four beats. One, two, ready, begin. Excellent. So our last uh, chapter in the book and the accompaniment video, uh, we will look at the high A note. And the high A note is positioned on the first string, fifth fret. Um, it's also called an extension because basically the high A is not in the first position, but we always include it in learning all of the uh, natural notes in first position. So we will uh, take a look at, at some exercise and some melodies with the high A. Thank you very much. <laughs>